onto the big one for the night. It is the Avon City Ford New Brighton Cup. Standing start, the winner of this guaranteed a start in the New Zealand Cup. Highlighting uh, the run here from Terra to Love, uh, this, uh, this race has been talked about, well, this trial has been talked about quite a bit. We see Sushi Sushi still uh, in the lineup here, but he was scratched this afternoon. So we're going to take you back to Terra to Love winning this trial at Ashburton on the 18th of September, beating home Sushi Sushi. They uh, work their way up towards the corner now. 300 metres left to run. High view, Tommy. High tails it for home. Out five, out of length and a quarter. Sushi, Sushi on the inside, just waiting for the better's delight passing lane. Here's Auckland Reactor, tramping home centre track. And Terra de Love's been angled out by Ricky May and it's roaring home down the outside. It's flying home like it did in the cup. And Terra de Love waltzes away with it. Wins by a length and a half going right away from Sushi, Sushi. Well, look ridiculously easy there from Terra to Love. He won that in 304.8 the last half, 55.7 in the quarter there in 26.6. Ricky May will be the driver this season with uh, Jim Curtin's, uh, well, of course, being the trainer of Franco Emirate. We're going to hear from Ricky May right now and a number of other drivers as they head into Friday night. Ricky, can you put into words the feeling that he gave you about the 200 metres in that trial? Because, man, that looked impressive. Yeah, well, he... Um you know, I didn't expect him to go past Auckland Reactor the way he did. And uh, actually, before I pulled him out, I, I thought, geez, he's only cruising, you know. And I thought, geez, I'll be flat keeping up, you know. But um, when I pulled him out, he really showed some speed and got past him quite easy. So, yeah, he probably, um, you know, for the speed he showed, it probably surprised me a wee bit, actually, to go past such good horses the way he did. You're excited then? Oh, yeah, there's still six weeks out. Anything can happen between now and then. But, um um, Graham's done a great job. He's, he's pretty ready, I think. I don't think he's getting much better than the way he is at the moment. So it be interesting to see how he goes on Friday. Well, I guess the one good thing, uh, Jim, is that, that other Franco that's been your Nemes so far won't be there this Friday. No, there'll be plenty others though, but um, yeah, Hamish keeps getting up beside me, he said, who won that one? I keep saying, you again. <laughs> but yeah, he's going good too, but that both horses are, and yeah, Hamish has just shown so much speed as well, so yeah. yeah, it's really good. All right. Talk us through the way he's come through those runs because you always said that he'd just keep on improving. Is he going the way you want him to? Yeah, he felt really good the other day. Uh, when we were working yesterday, he felt really good, um, nice and keen, and yeah, he seems to be thriving. He's eating good and everything, so yeah, we're more than happy with him. So we'll give him a start this week, and as long as he goes away again, we'll then we'll decide on what we're going to do after that. Mark Ahoka, Texas, he must be very pleased the way he's come through his first two runs. Yeah, he's racing good, Greg. He's got better each time, and yeah, he's run too close up fourth, so you can't ask much more. He's made up a couple of placings in the rankings. Um, I suppose it's a ridiculous question to ask you how you're going to drive him this week. Yeah, we we'll probably might try a bit different, Greg. We might put the galloping hood on him and, you know, really run them along this time and, you know, make it a real stars test. And, you know, we've been going 59 middle halves, we might go a bit quicker. And then every horse has their chance, and we'll see where we're at too, so it should be a good race. In your opinion? Hardest to beat in the race? It's going to be a great field this week with Sushi Sushi, Auckland Reactor, but Gold Ace trial good yesterday. But on Terra Love's trial with Ashburton, like he, he definitely looks horse to beat this year. He's come back better and stronger, and you know he's very fast, so he's definitely the horse to beat. How's he come through the hand and Yeah, seems good, Greg's work's been good since then, and pride is about enough for the race, you know, the next couple of days after that. So, yeah, hadn't heard him, and you know, hopefully he takes a fair bit of benefit out of that. You always said that this won't be when he's at 100%. You're going to build towards um, the cup. Um, what's left under the bonnet at this stage? Well, he's just working his way, you know, heading towards the cup meeting. Obviously, you know, they always take a race or two to really hit their peak fitness. So, uh, But, you know, in saying that, they've got to be pretty ready. They're not easy races, these races. So you can't have them too underdone, otherwise the race will knock them. So, you know, he's just working towards, you know, the cup, and he's exactly where we want him, really. Anthony Bart uh, speaking about Marseille. Uh, Craig, listening to the connections involved with horses, in this race, a guaranteed cup start up for grabs. So for a couple of these horses, it doesn't really matter. But, stra oh, well, not strange. Interesting to hear Mark Jones's thoughts on his tactics this week. Yeah, it is. I'm sure he's not going to leave anything on the belt this week, Jess. And he, he set them up in pretty good tempo on the last two, of course, the Vase and the Hannah Memorial. And unfortunately, it's been Franco Ledger three back on the fence. It's got over the top of them. But he's getting better with racing Ahoka, Texas. And he's, he's setting up in very good tempo. And uh, he's not been too far away, Jess. But, gee, this is a good field. And eight Group 1 winners amongst them uh, with a scratching of Sushi Sushi. We've got 11 runners. It's a shadow New Zealand Cup field, uh, Jess. You chuck in uh, Sir Lincoln and Pembroke Benny and a couple of others. But, gee, it's a great lineup, And, and it's 
it's very hard to narrow it down to one. I, what I would say about Terra to Love is I really was impressed with the way he got home in that Ashburton trial. I know that trick was a little bit shifty that day, talking to a couple of drivers, and uh, he got over the top of a couple of real good uh, good ones in, in, in Auckland Reactor and, of course, Sushi Sushi, and he did it very easily. His two trials back have both been good, and really he hasn't been tested to date so far, so he looks like a horse that uh, will go well fresh. I think out wide will be a, a superb draw for him uh, from barrier number eight now. He'll come out wide. He'll get plenty of room to step away from a standing start. So many positives about him, Jess, and I think Ricky May's going to be very excited. Of course, he's got no Monkey King to drive now, but he's got a very good replacement in Terra to Love. Looking to win yet another New Zealand Cup, Ricky May, and also Terra to Love, last year's defending champion. Speaking of defend, defending horses, Auckland Reactor was the winner of this race last year. We're going to highlight the workout from Gold Ace. It did feature in the, the earlier segment of the show, but uh, this is the performance of Gold Ace at the Rangiora workouts, currently in the park position, and beats home Mark Banner, who's also a race rival on Friday. Round the corner, Mac Banner to line them up now. Mac Banner and Muddy Kringle getting through, and Gold Ace is starting to storm home as well down the outside and that's Mac Banner and Gold Ace, Gold Ace the outside and Mac Banner's trying to kick back but Gold Ace, he's pretty smart he's going to win it narrowly and uh, pulls out and wins by about a head on the line, uh, will beat Mac Banner Gold Ace uh, taking the line up here, here's the market to uh, Craig he's fresh up Gold Ace and uh, well what's he at, $4.50 now what are your thoughts around that price? Well, it's an OK price, Jess. Uh, his workout was very good in beating Mac Banner. His workout at Alexandra Park, I can tell you, uh, two weeks ago, uh, running third to Sir Lincoln and easy on the eye, wasn't bad either. I know pre uh, Stephen had a private uh, workout at uh, Pukki Cohen. He was very happy leading south. So I think they've got to be uh, extremely happy with the way he's performing. Again, out wide will suit him. 450. Terra to Love, 280 into 260. Jess, well, that may be because of the scratching of Sushi Sushi. There's 9% deductions there. Uh, Auckland Reactor, fi uh, 550 into 450. Marshish, 850 to 8 dollars. Of the rest of them, Franco Emmett still at a good price at $10. He's done nothing wrong. Two very good runs in the Vars and in the Hannah Memorial, beaten by a speed horse in Franco Ledger. And interesting to hear that Mark Purden's uh, ch choice runner of the uh, of the four that are there, uh, Jess, eighteen dollars for Sleepy Trip. Uh, Greg O'Connor mentioned that of the runners that he's got there, that would be the most forward of them. So if you're looking at uh, backing one outside the square, maybe Sleepy Trip at eighteen to one, pretty good money.